In this video, we'll give you a quick tour of the Maxwell materials and how to manage them. Open the provided scene to follow this video. Although Maxwell can render most default lightwave materials, you should add a Maxwell layered material shader to the surface of each material to fully enjoy the benefits of Maxwell's physically correct materials. The old Maxwell material shader is still there to ensure compatibility with previous versions, but you'll no longer need it. Instead, use the new, more complete Maxwell layered material shader. When you open it, you'll see a layered structure like the one you find in the Maxwell Material Editor. You can add layers, BFDFs, coatings and emitter components. It gives you access to the surface properties of each added component. First, we're going to create a plain diffuse material. A diffuse material is defined by its colour and its high roughness. Choose a colour in the Reflectant Zero colour chip. Diffuse surfaces have a high roughness value. Set the roughness to 99 or 100%. In the Maxwell Render Options panel, set the render time to 1 minute for tests and set an output image format and path. Don't forget the MXI file. Render the scene. As you can see, diffuse materials are pretty easy to set up. Just choose a colour or texture and raise the roughness value to 90 to 100. You can also apply a bump or normal map. Lowering the roughness value will result in a more reflective surface. Now take the other cup and apply another Maxwell layered material. Choose a colour in the reflectance zero slot, but set roughness to a medium value like 50%. This should create a semi-polished material. Render the scene. The lower the roughness value, the smoother and more reflective the surface will be. Medium roughness values produce semi-reflective surfaces. Now we're going to create a perfect mirror surface. Select the surface of the first cup and edit it. Choose a white colour for reflectance 0 and lower the roughness value to 0. This will produce a perfectly smooth and reflective surface. With reflective surfaces, a high ND value produces more patent reflections. Raise the ND to near 20 to create metals, mirrors or plastics. This is the way to create a mirror-like surface with a low roughness and high ND. Now we're going to create a plastic material. Plastics are created by mixing a diffuse BSDF, which supplies the colour, and a mirror BSDF, which supplies the specular reflections. Edit the mirror surface. Hit the Add BSDF button to add a new BSDF component to the material. Each layer can contain as many mixed BSDFs as you want. It's normal to have two or three. The new BSDF you've just added will be the diffuse component, and will give the colour to the plastic. To create a diffuse material again, choose a colour in the reflectant zero colour chip, and keep the roughness high, 99 or 100%. You can rename the BSDFs to avoid confusion. Name the mirror component specular and name the diffuse component diffuse. The specular component is a simple mirror surface 
with a low roughness near zero and high ND near 20. To mix both components together, you should adjust the weight of each BSDF. Set the diffuse component to 90% and the specular component to 10%. Varying these weights, you will get a more or less reflective plastic. This is how plastics are made, with a diffuse component to provide colour and a mirror component to provide specular reflections mixed up using different weight values. Now we're going to create a glass material. Edit the plastic material and remove all the BSDFs we've previously created to start from scratch. Now add a new BSDF. Transparent materials are characterized by their transmittance color and their attenuation distance. The transmittance color is the color of the glass. Choose a green color to create a green tinted glass. The attenuation distance is an important parameter in transparent materials and refers to the thickness of the transparency of the material. A low attenuation distance produces a more opaque material. Leave it at 1 meter. When the material reaches a thickness of more than 1 meter, it will become opaque. Set the roughness to 0 to produce a perfectly transparent glass. Set the ND to 1.5 as this is the index of refraction of common glass. Remember to set a color in the transmittance color slot, set the attenuation distance, set the refraction index of the material and choose a low roughness to make it smooth. Use the update button to display a preview render while you configure your materials. It will render a high quality preview of your material. Render the scene. As you can see, transparent materials are easy to create in Maxwell Render. Try a higher roughness value, near 15 or 20, if you want to create a frosty glass. When lit by direct light, reflective and transparent materials cast caustic reflections. Maxwell Render calculates those caustics accurately and automatically. Now we're going to apply a textured plastic to the cups. A quick way to restart a Maxwell material from scratch is by removing the Maxwell layered material shader and adding a new one. As we want to create a textured plastic, we first need a textured diffuse component. Hit the T icon in the reflectance zero to apply a texture. Choose the image provided with this scene, mapped cylindrically on the Y axis. This will be the diffuse component that gives colour to the plastic. You can name it diffuse. As usual with diffuse materials, check that its roughness value is high, 99 or 100 percent. Add a new BSDF component. This will be a mirror material that will give the specular reflections to the plastic. Name it specular. As usual with mirror materials, reduce roughness to zero and raise the ND to 20. Assign weights to mix both components. 90% for the diffuse component and 10% for the specular component are good settings, but you can play around a bit to get different plastic looks. Now we've created a standard maroon plastic for the handle by mixing a plain maroon diffuse component with a simple mirror component in a 90-10 proportion. Repeat the same steps for the second cup and saucer and render the scene. You can see that it's easy to create physically correct materials in Maxwell Render. Without a doubt, the best place to start learning about Maxwell materials is the Maxwell Material Gallery. You can download thousands of free physically correct materials to use in your projects. 
enter the MXM gallery at resources.maxwellrender.com. All contents are free, you just need to register to be able to download materials. You can search by keywords to find the material that fits your needs. Find an interesting and useful material and download it. You can use the downloaded material as is or modify it to fit your needs. When you find something interesting, just hit the download button to download it. We've downloaded a concentric sheet metal material to be used for the table. Unpack it into your project folder. The material comes in MXM format, Maxwell Material File, and includes the maps and textures needed to use it. Apply a new Maxwell layered material to the table surface. Instead of creating the material from scratch, we're going to load the downloaded file. Hit Import MXM to load the MXM material file. You may need to assign the correct path to the downloaded textures. You can use this material as is or modify its parameters. You may need to adjust the texture mapping to a y-axis planar projection over the table. We reduce the image scale to adjust the tiling to the size of our objects. Render the scene. The MXM gallery can also serve as a learning resource to understand how certain materials are created. For a more in-depth description of the materials parameters, please check the Maxwell manual. Thank you for watching this video.